ready now? Yeah. Okay. Ready now? Yeah. <laughs> Go. Hello everyone, this is Daniel from the Road Cruisers. I hope you guys are in, having a wonderful day. Um, this video is going to be uh, answer a lot of questions uh -huh. that we've been getting lately on a lot of the mods that we have done, the DIYs on this truck, on our truck. So the first frequently asked question that we're going to answer is, do they rub? So if if I turn the wheel all the way to the left, uh, what I've noticed is they do rub back here with the we did the NorCal mod, right? But it's not rubbing on the actual metal. It's rubbing on the liner. Some people do is they'll they'll cut the liner out or they'll take a uh, tap and screw and screw it in more. But that's pretty much it. So we're actually gonna take care of that. I thought that they were rubbing on the front part where it's like kind of rough here. But I actually think this is from when we went to Bald Mountain and we got into some deep ruts and they probably just scraped. So actually, it's just in the back part when it's when it's clocked all the way to the left. Mm -hmm. So I just have to, I'm still debating if I'm gonna trim the liner a little bit or if I'm just gonna just screw it in to see if that works. Um, the biggest question about the Nor NorCal mod was, was it hard? Not really. I mean, I'm not a fabricator or anything like that. Um, so just with like a cutting tool and a, probably a better hammer than what we had, it would have made it a lot easier. Uh, as I mentioned in the video, which leads me to like the next question, which is asked a lot if you go anywhere on the internet about these trucks from 2014 to 2018. Will 35s fit with this lift or such and such lift? 35s with a four inch lift or three and a half inch lift. Okay, so in the previous videos, we have the three and a half inch rough country with the uh, upper control arm. Um, in our tires, um, they're not exactly 35s. They are 315, 70R, 17s, which comes to like 34 and a half. There's that, so. Now, what I did um, for, well, before I got the rims and tires is I, I went on uh, custom offsets. They have it to where they have pictures of all their customers, their different rims, tires, uh, choices. So you can go on there and look at every, um, setup that person has lift uh, rims tires you know different types of lifts not just rough country that's what we have some people have BDS some people will have all kinds of other ones so custom offsets a lot of people who have a truck actually know about the website but but we'll provide the link anyways that way um, it might help you out because it helped me out um, picking what we wanted to to get uh, with the lift kit I get the question, or we get the question of, uh, is it good? Uh, do you like it? Has it messed up? <laughs> Have we broken anything yet? Um, some people dislike rough countries. Some people like rough country. Uh, I'm just going to speak on our, on behalf of our own experience. So we've had this lift kit on for over two years now. We've taken it to Moab. We've taken it across country to Missouri and back. Um, Several, I went to Bald Mountain and Shaver Lake with some friends, and it's held up really well. Um, the ball joint, the upper ball joint is still good. I keep checking it. Um, I haven't had any steering issues, still drives like a stock. Um, the suspension feels good. Uh, we have the N2.0 uh, Rough Country uh, struts. It absorbs the, the bumps pretty good. Well, like I mentioned before, we have the three and a half, three point five inch rough country lift. We went, we didn't want to go crazy uh, to a six inch lift. Uh, we just wanted just enough clearance to tackle some obstacles, but at the same time, use our truck daily. You know, loading and loading stuff with a six six inch lift like I had before, and I didn't really like it too much. Uh, it seemed to be a, kind of a hassle and headache. Uh, plus, Maria would be angry at me because she's not really that tall <laughs> so she had a hard time getting to the truck but, easy with that easy hey you next uh, DIY questions as we get is the um, bow tie yep. uh, we used uh, 3M vinyl wrapping to black it out 
And the third most question is <laughs> this. This how looks good is dirty, it? by the way, because yeah. we just cut back how from is a it trip. Holding? So here's a real time. It's been uh, what over a year. Over a year. Yeah. And the only piece right here I see that's the only flaw we have. That's probably where I rock hit it pretty good. Someone asked, yeah. "How does it look like with the sun?" With the sun. Uh, it looks. Oh. How oh, fast good? I need to get away. Is yeah yeah this one looks good all right and people always ask about how do yeah, we this do, look good how mm -hmm. do we do the inside well the answer to that is we already had the black bow tie mm -hmm. and we actually did the whole bow tie in the satin black um vinyl mm -hmm. but we wanted to try and see how it would look if we used the regular um, black bow tie mm -hmm. so all we did is we trimmed around the bow tie here and then we took that vinyl off so this is actually like you know you get at the dealership or you get online on ebay or whatever um but that's pretty much how we did it uh, we didn't keep the the vinyl on the middle section mm -hmm. and i think it came out good in the corners people ask about the corners so the little trick we found out was you got to do like relief cuts so you just have kind of like slice a little bit mm -hmm. and then that way it'll and then you obviously use the heat gun with it too and it'll just it'll just it'll just flow right into the corners so um, we'll see how long how much longer it lasts or see how long it will be for we have to redo it again but it looks good still i mean truck looks dirty but i guess the truck's supposed to look dirty right yeah uh so Okay, so that covers the lift question, NorCal mod question. So we'll have the link to our DIY videos right here. That way you can kind of go back and you can see what we did. Um, we do want to do a more thorough video as far as the, the lift kit goes. That way we can actually provide the sizes of everything, the tools you need, the tools we used, um, just to help out everybody else who wants to do the similar type of lift. Regardless but we can speed. say that the 3.5 the, the three and a half that we got yeah is actually perfect for us uh, even after installing a larger tire yes it actually still give us this much clearance like yeah so uh, i mean and like i said we <laughs> we did the uh off -road, off road trail which the video will be coming coming later down the road um, of us doing that trail, uh, it was at the Nor Arches uh, National Park, mm -hmm. and that was uh, there were some really sketchy parts, and we were able to go where we wanted to go. I mean, you handled it fine. Uh, far as, if you have any more questions uh, mm -hmm. for the Rough Country uh, lift, the NorCal mod, um, so far, you know, you can just comment down there. Uh, so, thank you for watching. Uh, we appreciate every every support we get and uh, until then uh, God bless and thank you